have no seed. seed. Yeah, so we've been gone for a couple of months. Yeah. Uh, we had to go on what's called a, a workstation. Work vacation. Yeah, workation. Workation. That's what I <laughs> so we had to go back to Michigan. We had to go back to the D, go back to Detroit for two months. Yeah. Um, so we're back. Yes. Um, we, we missed being home. We did. That's for sure. Yeah, it was a long two months. Yeah, so we did post a recent video real quick when we got back, which was the one for our bathroom, but we got some more videos coming mm -hmm. um, just to kind of bring you up to date. We're going to do a little up to date on where we are with the house. Um, we just ordered tile for the bathroom to start working on that, which we'll be working on probably in about a week. Mm -hmm, yeah. So you'll probably see that video in about two or three weeks. Mm -hmm. um, after we finish up the bathroom, I'm building my wife a meditation station. Well, actually, before I build the bathroom, I'm building her a meditation station, which you'll probably see in about a week because we got to wait for the tile. Yeah. So I'm building her that outside. It'll be, it'll be pretty. It'll be mm -hmm. nice. I'm going to throw me a hammock in there, too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but we just wanted to do this video um, just to kind of touch base with everybody let you know we're back. Yeah. Uh, nothing went wrong, nothing happened. No. You know, we didn't no. stop. No. Uh, we, just, we just had to go make some money. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> so we keep it moving. So we keep it moving. <laughs> um, so, um, let's see, as far as the house goes, what else you want? No, we still got a lot to do. You know, we moved in. For those of you that might have missed a few of our, uh, our videos, we did move in prior to us leaving. So, I um, feels so good to be in our home and out of that yeah. RV. <laughs> Ooh, five years. Yeah, boy. Five years in the RV. Yeah. Man. So, yeah. It's, it was something. It was something. It was, it was, it was, I was like, you know what? I'm going to share this little thought. I never thought I would be excited about a damn closet. I know, right? Well, we actually got to go shopping and I buy know, some and clothes. I know, buy some real clothes, not just clothes to get dirty and Man. work out in. And it felt good. Yeah, so you guys got to see the closet video. She'll post yeah, that I'll next. post that tonight. Um, yeah. yeah, but, um, yeah, it, it feels good to be in our home. Yeah, it does. It, it does. does. It Except really I don't does. have a shower yet. No, not yet. It's coming. Yeah, I, I don't like baths. <laughs> I, I got PTSD with baths. So I've been a little traumatized. Uh -uh. I've been working through it. She's been doing good. She gives me bubbles in the bath. She cuts the little TV on. So it, it's been helping. I need my shower. Yeah, I know, right? So we got the bat main bath on deck. And then we're pretty much going to be start working on the outside. Yeah. And the landscaping and the trees and things of that nature. So mm -hmm. we'll be sliding that in. So we'll be bouncing around a little bit with that. Uh, we got the deck. We got to finish the deck. Um, we did put the awning on, but we got to finish the inside of the deck. And we have to put um, the outside kitchen out there. Right. So that's coming soon. So you'll see that. Um, I don't know if we're going to get to the pool this year. <laughs> we want to. But we want to. I don't know if we're going yeah, to. Yeah, we still got the greenhouse. Yeah, we got the greenhouse. Got, we're doing a greenhouse for winter growing. Yeah. Uh, which I guess leads us into our topic. All right. Okay. All right. So we want to start this topic off again. This is just a general video today, just to let everybody know we're back. But in this video, we do want to, you know, bring awareness to things because that's again part of our platform for our videos. Our videos are not just about the house building. We are also trying to communicate. Uh, to you out there some things um, without getting too deep into every detail of things. Um, some people might think awareness can be considered fearful. Um, my personal opinion is people who think that way, I find that a little oxymoronic. Um, I think you should definitely be aware of what's going on in this world. Uh, we are definitely in new times. The same, the days where kids can go outside and play and be outside till the street lights come on and hang out. This isn't the times where, you know, you don't, you got these random shootings and just places coming out of nowhere. So for a person to think that being aware is fearful, I, I caution that person. Right. You know, I caution that, I caution that person uh, with the utmost intensity that, they need to slap themselves with some baby powder and wake up. <laughs> There's a 
lot going on. Yeah. So, um, you know, we want to just make this video a little bit about awareness and we want to talk about a few things that, you know, maybe you guys, you don't have to take our word for anything, but maybe it might be prudent for you to go look up for yourself and, you know, have some knowledge of what's going on. Yeah, um, I think, you know, to be oblivious to what's going on or to eliminate it from your reality as if it doesn't exist and or by doing so you think it doesn't exist is just foolish. You know, you have to be aware of what's going on. And this doesn't mean living in fear because as you can see, it's us moving off grid and for those of you that have been that have been following us for a long time we're not preparing for the end of anything we are creating a new beginning and in creating that new beginning we are aware of what's going on so that we can prepare and do things properly and that's what awareness is about it's not about being in fear but you can't plan for anything unless you can anticipate the probability of things that could come. Yeah, well said. Well said. So with that, we're going to talk about a couple of key topics, and then, and then this will be a little short. Again, just a little short video let you know we're back. Yeah. One thing we want to talk about that's going on is the banking system. Okay. I don't know how many of you are aware or you've been keeping up or, you know, the system has you so convoluted with chasing money even though that's related to the banking system, you might not have a clue of what's been going on. So I'm going to just make some notes so I can keep it up. You know, you might have heard about the Cash App guy, Bob Lee. He, he's killed. Thomas Elliott with Old National Bank, he's dead. But PayPal, the guy who created PayPal, Greg Curry, he's dead. Uh, Dutch Bank CEO, Anshu Gang, he's dead. This one threw me. I just found out about this one. John McAfee, the guy who makes the computer viruses, he's recently dead. And then four crypto billionaires between October of 2022 and January 2023, all dead. So I find it personally a little interesting, for lack of a better word, that all these banking executives are dead within a few months before they're about to roll out Fed now. So for those of you who don't know, there's a new instant payment functionality coming out called Fed now. Now, I don't know, I don't have a crystal ball to know exactly how this is gonna play out. What I do know is that seeing the collapse of some of these banks and all these dead CEOs, I don't think it's a coincidence. I think there's something deeper, something more involved going on. Um, my point that I want to bring to your attention is from some of the research I've personally done, I'm coming up with three banks that seem that they will survive whatever's about to happen. Uh, Bank of America, JP Morgan, which is Chase, and Wells Fargo. So if you don't bank with any of those three, I'm not telling you you need to run out and switch. I'm just telling you that information I'm coming across is saying those are going to be the three remaining players, uh, short of credit unions. Uh, us personally, uh, we're choosing to diversify money between credit unions and one of the three. Um, we want to share this information with those of you out there just in case you might find it useful or beneficial or want to go dig into this topic for yourself. Uh, but the Fed now concept, which you can research and find, uh, is basically going to ensure all payments go through that functionality, which basically means the government is going to know everything you pay and everything you buy. So for some of you, you might not think that's a hill of beans. For somebody like me and my wife, we think it's very relevant. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I don't have much to add right now. You don't have much to say on that one? Okay. So I, I thought that one might be uh, one to, you know, just throw out there, throw on your guys' plate. Um, another thing, you know, we're real big on is the weather. You know, we've been talking about this weather since we left, since 2017. We're having tornadoes every week. I don't know how many of you are keeping up, uh, short of those people that are involved in them. But please, if you haven't gotten a generator yet, get one. 
Uh, if you haven't began to, you know, stock up supplies for hyperinflation concepts, please start. Uh, there are some things still coming that are going to be make life a little more difficult than what it's been. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, if you and no matter you know what you believe or what you think or you know no matter what banking system you use or if those of you that are saying you know you need to buy gold, you need to buy silver, you need to have crypto, you need to make sure you have all of these uh, things in place in case shit happens. Regardless of whether you have it or don't have it or how much you have it, I think the main principle to keep in mind is to have your mind, body, and spirit intact so that you can, you can be able to face whatever comes our way, no matter the severity. You can have all the food, all the water, all the generators, all the gold, but if a tornado comes... <laughs> and blows all that shit away, what good is it? But if your mind, body, and spirit is intact, if you know you can go without eating food three times a day because you fast, you've done it, you sat in your house for a weekend without electricity and ain't tripping, you know what I'm saying? You can go without your cell phone for a couple of days, you're not tripping. Those are going to be the people that can get through any storm and you know not feel any certain kind of way though those of you that say well i can't go without this and i can't go without that you will be the ones out here acting a damn fool that's true. so i think you know that's the message that no matter what you believe have your mind body and spirit intact and start by practicing that mm -hmm. you know go without some things you know start going don't eat three times a day four or five times a day go without that fast food you know what I'm saying? And that's how you can be prepared and make yourself, your mental and your spirit strong. Yeah. And, and, and to my wife's point, especially about the food, so I'll share this with you. We've made some adjustments in our behavior, yeah. right? So we're at a point now where we're only eating two to three days out the week. Uh, the rest of the days of the week, we juice. Mm -hmm. And it's been great. It has. You know, we feel it's, so it's been great. much I better. I just shed a few pounds, right. you know what I'm saying? And we don't eat fast food or meat, yeah, you know, that's been our that. Anyway, but, yeah. but, like, we can just see the difference with just yeah. juicing yeah. and yeah. only yeah. eating, you know, a couple of days out of the week. It's made a difference. Yeah, and it, it, it's wild because when you start fasting, you'll actually see your metabolism speed up. Yeah. Um, I will argue that we've been taught wrong. Mm -hmm. We've been taught completely backwards. Yeah, absolutely. Believing you're supposed to eat three times a day. I think that's 100% a lie. Right. Um, when we fast for three days, it's like we're on ziggity. Yeah, you have oh, so much energy. My energy is like so bad. Sometimes we can't sleep. We no, got right. to drink a tea just to, so we can go to bed. <laughs> it's like the energy is ridiculous. It is. Um, so to my wife's point about mind-body-spirit complex, uh, that's a very real thing to begin to, you know, do your own research, do your own digging, do your own, you know, uh, uh, identification of, of whether or not there's validity there or not. You know, we're not here to try to convince you or tell you we're right. We're just trying to share some information that, that we found and we ran across. So we, we practice our juicing and our fasting. We're trying to be a little more consistent with the fasting. Um, because we're trying to acclimate ourselves to really functioning from the food we grow. Right. You know, we still go to the supermarket and grocery store, yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. But we're trying to get to a place to where if we don't have to, right. we ain't tripping. You know what I'm saying? Um, we're not there yet. It's a process. <laughs> but, but it's a process. Mm -hmm. But we're trying to get there. Right. Um, so for those of you who've never looked up Dr. CB, look up Dr. CB. Mm -hmm. Dr. CB speaks a lot about these kind of things. Um, you know, the, the more due diligence, Dr. Delbert Blair, if you look up Dr. Delbert Blair, he'll speak to it. Uh, Dr. Phil Valentine, he's another individual that you can look up. So I'm not so much trying to, uh, Bobby Hemming is another individual you can look up. So we want to share these people with you because these people might help you find, you know, your balance of what you're looking for, where you're at. Um, so I just want to throw that in there uh, in addition to what my wife.
first point about mind, body, spirit complex. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I okay, so I guess we'll, one last note, and then we'll leave it there and say bye. But the last thing I want to put on your plate is mainly for those of you out there with families. You know, think about the things we're saying and really do an assessment of where you and your family are if, and if being the operative word, if we have something that creates an out-of-the-normal concept. I mean, let's take COVID, for instance. A lot of people got, you know, their lives, you know, got twisted upside down from COVID. Mm -hmm. A lot of people lost their jobs, used to be at this kind of salary level. And I know some of these, some people personally, friends and family members, was here and now you're here. Right. Um, and that hurt. You know, a lot of people are having to pick up side, part-time, jobs just to maintain what they already had. So to have this mindset as if nothing else is in the pipeline that might throw you a curveball, I, I submit to you, you might be being a little naive, okay? Um, especially in trusting the people who are in charge. You know, we need to remember the people who are in charge are the same people who've been in charge since colonialism since they took over this land and called it a country, which it's not. It's a corporation. So you might say, well, no, these aren't the same people. No, these are the great, great grandkids of those people. So, you know, remember that. And to have so much trust and belief and faith that these people have your best interests at heart, I find that astonishingly... Um, Stupid. <laughs> That's my wife. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm the hardest one. No, that's my wife. All right, give me some. That's stupid. Wake up and take notice and 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 take control of your life. You know what I'm saying? Like really start making yourself responsible for your life. And I'm, I'm gonna stop there. Okay. So. We'll be posting a couple of videos behind this one. We'll post you the closet video. My wife got some other ones. We're going to try to get a little more consistent yeah. with videos on a right. more constant basis since we got so far with the house now. Right. Um, so on that note, until next time, be free. Be free.